The Kingdom of Tonga, situated in the Southern Pacific Ocean, is an archipelago of 177 islands set across an expanse of 700,000 square kilometers of ocean. The population of 108,000 has a strong seafaring tradition and current and future trade plans rely heavily on sea trade to develop the economy. Currently, the Kingdom's economy is based on a large non-monetary sector, remittances from foreign-based nationals, fishing and agricultural exports. Tonga's development plans emphasize a growing private sector, upgrading agricultural productivity, developing tourism and improving communications and transport. Substantial progress has been made, but much work remains to be done. The current port container terminal at Queen Salote International Wharf is the lifeline of the remote island country of Tonga and has been identified as a bottleneck to future development. Queen Salote Wharf is, is the capital international port for, for Tonga. This is the only gateway you know, for, for this island. This, we only have one international wharf. Currently, when the ship are uh, arriving at, at the ports, the bathing is too short. We need a longer bath for the container ship coming to Tonga. Knowing that there will be larger ships operating in the Pacific Islands in the future, the Queen Salute International Port needs to be improved and upgraded to be able to accommodate those ships in the future. With widespread degradation of the wharf facilities, a decaying concrete structure, insufficient lighting and substandard safety and hard stand provisions, the Asian Development Bank is working with the government of Tonga for the provision of grant funding for the redesign and construction of an upgraded container port facility. Additionally, natural hazards such as cyclones, earthquakes and tsunamis pose a significant threat to the port container terminal and the achievement of national and regional development goals. The target of this upgrade is not only to modernize the facility, but as well to climate-proof the port in order to become an international gateway, promoting the economic development of Tonga. The upgrade of the port is proposed to start construction in 2021, with activities expected to be ongoing for two to four years. The main features of the project include the extension of Wharf 2 to better accommodate larger vessels, construction of a new dolphin between Wharf 1 and 2, construction of new dolphins on the eastern side of Wharf 1, reconstruction of the Wharf 1 reinforced concrete slab, yard improvements and smart and green port features such as reorganization, new paving, drainage, smart lighting, waste management and firefighting, capacity building programs related to port operations, safety, operation and maintenance, and gender equity policy and training for the Ports Authority. The hope for the Queen Salute International Wharf project is that it will improve uh, provisions of better facilities for trade and then it will increase the economy contribution from the transport sector as well as uh, provide sustainability of development here in Tonga. After this project, you know, if we will get more ships coming, and we have more transshipment containers, we have more spaces for empty containers. Hopefully we will get more additional revenue you know, for my country, stimulating our economy of, uh, of my islands. <laughs>